Hey friends and welcome back to my channel. I am the Grateful Queen and I have a what sold on eBay video for you. If you are new to the channel, I'm a reseller. I sell on eBay and Poshmark. I go to places like yard sales, thrift stores, the Goodwill outlet where you pay by the pound and I buy clothes, mostly women's clothes. You'll see in this what sold video, it's a little bit of men's. I do a little bit of kids and I'm trying to branch out and do a little bit more accessories, belts and bags and things. But as a part-time reseller, I can only concentrate on so much at one time. So I'm mostly a women's fashion clothing reseller. I've been selling on eBay since 2011 and I've been on Posh for about a year. I'm really picking up some momentum on Posh though. I have a what sold on Poshmark video that you'll find on this channel either before or after this one. So look for that. Um, I, I'm going to, in this video, my plan is to give you a little update on my numbers on what's happening um, with my eBay business. I'm going to focus on eBay in this video and go through 10 sales. I'm gonna tell you what the, what things sold for, why I bought them, and give you some detail like that. Does that sound good? If so, hit the like button. Let me know you like this kind of content and we will move on. So, oh no, I'll be looking down at my computer over here because I have it up to show me the sales. So that's what I'm up to over here. So, I'm pretty excited because I'm a part-timer, which means I have limited time and energy. I work maybe about 10 to 15 hours, give or take, a week. My numbers for the last 31 days on eBay is $2,003.28. So that's how much I sold and earned on eBay. Keep in mind that eBay takes 10%, PayPal takes 3% plus 30 cents every transaction. I do free shipping on everything unless it's like jeans or shoes or something that's, if it's over 16 ounces, then I do ask them to pay $8 priority. So keep those things in mind. I'm gonna tell you what they sold for, but there's fees, there's shipping, and um, let me think, fees? Oh, and my cost of goods. Yeah, just that tiny little detail. <laughs> cost of goods of what I spent on the item. If I can remember you guys, I will tell you what I spent, but to be honest, as I'm doing these videos, I'm realizing sometimes I can't remember at this point when I'm dealing with so much inventory exactly where I sourced it from or um, what exactly I paid for, but I'll do my best. Does that sound good? Here we go. The first item, I'm gonna choose 10 items. I'm gonna shoot a picture up probably on one side when I tell you the item so you can see it and see how I took the pictures. If I, if, um, if I can, I'll also put a picture of the label itself in case you're trying to learn brands. So the first item I chose to talk about, random 10. Um, the first item is this basic editions women's linen dress and it sold for $24.99. The reason I chose to highlight this sale is because I think it's a good example of selling something for style and fabric content more than name brand because I'm pretty sure Basic Editions is sold at Walmart or Kmart or I, it's, a, it's not a high and expensive brand by any means but I thought this was a classic women's dress. It was a size six it was midi length so it came like to your calf um mid calf and it was just an a-line i thought it was a classic dress the other reason i'm highlighting this example to show you guys and talk about is because if you have been watching any of my other videos which you're welcome to do i talk a lot about my process that i've been involved in the last handful of months in my business i am um I have really been working on improving my eBay store and my Poshmark closet. And this basic editions dress is one of the items that I had for sale on eBay for like a year and it never sold. So when I reviewed my store, because I knew I was trying to improve, I saw I had crappy pictures on this listing. So I deleted the listing entirely and started all over and um, took new pictures, brand new listing, and it sold within a couple of months. And I am seeing that again and again. So if you are looking for ways to make more money, improve your sales, consider looking at your store and with a critical eye and saying, hey, could my store be improved? Could my closet be improved? Could I use better pictures, better description, better pricing? 
because I'm having a lot of success with that and I think it's a pretty simple thing that almost anybody could do and um, improve their sales. I think I'll do another video all on that. The next sale I'm going to talk about are these Hudson men's jeans. Um, these sold for $34.99, my full asking price, and they paid $8 shipping, so their total was $42.99. I like this sale. I'm gonna then this sale and the next sale are both men's items. And I chose to put them in there because I mostly focus on women's and I know that I should I would like to consider moving more into men's as well. I think there's a lot of money to be made there. Men's jeans sell really well for me. Um and some trendy men's brands like Lucky Brand um and things like that do sell well. I just don't tend to gravitate the, there in the store. But these were a size 32 these Hudson jeans. They're expensive. If you go to somewhere like Nordstrom, over $100 for some of these Hudson jeans and these were not in great shape. Well, I mean they were distressed anyway, which is really popular. But they also had a lot of wear. I noted that in the listing. I took tons of pictures. And this one went to an international seller, buyer. So um, I used the eBay's global shipping program, which is awesome and easy. Um, and so they paid even more than that because I know with eBay, they charge a lot for the global shipping program for the customer. So those went international. I don't get a ton of international sales, to be honest, you guys. I might get like a few a month. The next sale is also a pair of men's jeans. These are Lucky Brand men's jeans. I thought these would do really well because um, they were size 34 and they were the Rebel Super Skinny and they were black. So I'm like, oh, these are great. Someone's gonna love these. And those sold for $34.99 as well. My full asking price plus um, $8 shipping. So that's a really good flip for me. I got both of these lucky men, oh geez, I, got, I should probably look back at my other haul videos. I have tons of haul videos. You guys can probably tell me where I got them if you were watching those videos. I know the Hudson ones I got at the 50% off sale at Salvation Army when I found like five or six men's jeans all together. And I was like, these are probably the same guy. They were really stylish and the same size. So I want to say I, I spent five or six dollars. Um, I believe that's true with the Lucky Brand ones as well. So that's a good flip for me. I love 30 bucks. Okay, the next item I wanted to talk to you about is um, a good old standby in my store. I've gone too far on my computer. I'm looking for it to tell you guys the details. Here it is. Okay, so um, this is a J. Jill top. Some people say J. Jill doesn't sell for them. I don't really understand that um, because in my eBay store, it's still my number one selling brand. Um, bigger the better sizes. This was a J. Jill size large. It sold for $22. I think I had it up for $24.99. They sent me an offer. I have best offer on all my listings. They sent me an offer of $22 and I was like, great, um, take it. I'm really happy to move that item along. This was the Wear Ever collection. Do you like my quotes? Um, J. Jill has different labels and the ones that sell really well for me that I pick up all the time if it's five dollars or less is the Wear Ever collection. Those sell really fast. They're like printed stretchy tunics. Love Linen sells the best for me. So I do really well with J. Jill. Um, okay. The next item I'm gonna talk about is this loft dress. Loft is by Ann Taylor, but if, it, if it's loft, it sells better for me. This dress, um, oh my God, you guys. I got, it was a size XL. I thought it was a really great style. It was like a white terry cloth dress with a knotted embellishment, which is a very flattering style, especially if you're a larger size like an XL. And it had like chambray colored stripes. And I'm like, oh, this, this dress, I got it at 50% off sale at Salvation Army on Wednesday, which I try to get to whenever I can. I'm doing really well there. Um, this dress was sort of a pain in the butt, to be honest with you, because it had a lot of watchers on eBay. It had a lot of offers, but I was getting low ball, low ball, low ball, like $10. I had it up there for, eek, I can't remember, $29.99 maybe? And I kept getting super low ball offers. This woman and I went back and forth, um, but she did come up on her price and we settled at 
Maybe I could have held out for more, but let me tell you a little tip, a little conspiracy I have. In my experience, it's just anecdotal. I don't have any like evidence to support this other than my own experience. In my experience on eBay, if I have an item with a lot of attention and I get multiple offers and then I don't accept any of those offers, I swear that item never sells. It sits and sits and sits. It's almost like eBay algorithm knows like, hey, you're not taking any offers. You're not working with us. We're not promoting this listing or something for you. Um, this is just a theory I have, you guys. Um, so if I've got a couple offers on an item, at some point, after like three offers that I haven't accepted, I'm gonna really negotiate and try and get that thing sold because I worry that it won't sell if I just keep rejecting offers. My personal strategy on offers on eBay, and every seller gets to decide this for themselves, my personal strategy is I counter. Because I have had many times where someone sends me some $10 offer on a $45 item. And if I negotiate back and forth, they'll usually come up to somewhere I'm satisfied with. That's a personal choice. Some people don't even want to deal with lowballers. And I totally get that. So some people set it in their eBay listing to reject offers unless it's a certain amount. You can totally do that. That's great. I, I could see going there. I could see being like, I'm so sick of the lowballies. I'm just going to set... You could choose not to have offer. Just don't even put best offer if you don't want to deal with that. Um, and this comes up a lot, like on Instagram, um, about eBay and Poshmark and offers. It is a really frustrating thing. I totally get that. I validate that for sure. I've been frustrated. I think we all just have to maybe decide what works for us and not feel bad about that. Just do it. Okay. The next item on eBay that I sold that I'm choosing to talk to you about is this Soma women's dress. Soma is a high-end intimates brand. It's expensive stuff. It's super high quality. Their stuff sells great. Their nightgowns, their bras. I don't find it a lot, but I find these dresses, to be honest, I'm not really sure if these are considered night dresses or if they are, they look to me like I would wear them out. But this one sold for 20 $9.99. Um, that was my full asking price. It was a size medium. And the Soma dresses that I have, I have several others in my store. They all kind of look like this. They feel really soft and stretchy. They sell well. So if I can find them for like five bucks approximately, give and take or take, then I um I pick them up and I sell them on eBay. I haven't tried them on Posh yet. I put most of my trendier stuff on Posh. Um Okay, the next item is something that came out of my own closet. This is a women's skirt by the brand XCVI. Sometimes XCVI can be sold at Anthropology, but it's not like one of their regular brands. Um, I did not list this one as Anthropology. This brand does really well for me. Whenever I see it, I pick it up. The tunic tops do well, the skirts do well, the fold over pants do well. In fact, I just ordered two pairs of pants for myself from this brand off of Poshmark. I shop a lot on there. If you're someone who is newer um, and you want to learn more, I suggest you buy. You be a buyer on Poshmark and eBay to, to see and understand how the whole thing works from the other end. Um, it's a really important part of the process. Don't break the bank or anything, but just buy some stuff so that you see what it is like from start to finish on the buyer side. But that's not why I do it. I've already done that. I buy it because I want stuff. I, and so I bought two pairs of these XCVI pants. They're sort of like a wide leg um, linen-y pants, um, super comfort brand, and um, it's expensive. I think I paid for myself the pants 30 bucks each pre-owned on... Um, eBay, I think I got them both on Posh. Um, but if you look on XCVI website, these pants are starting at like 150, 160. That this brand tends to range for me between like 20 and 60. I just sold a white fold over skirt by this brand. I can't remember exactly, I might see it over here, but I think it was like 30, 35. So um, XCVI, it's a good brand. Keep your eye out, bigger sizes do better. 
Okay, I have three more that I can choose to talk about. Let's see what I have for you. Um, anything in, and then this is June. I'm just, I'm just June. I'm just working on my June. Oh, this is a cool one. Um, this is another loft item. Oh, I already featured a loft item in this video. I wonder how you guys are going to feel about that. Um, this is a loft kimono top. I bought this because they're so stylish right now, these kimono tops. I bought a few for myself, but I'm actually going to resell them in my store. Um, because I just don't like how they look on me personally. But whenever I see another one in one of these drapey kimono style tops, I'm like, wow, she looks so great. You can wear it as a swim cover up or you can just put it over an outfit. But this one sold really quickly for $25. I had it on for $29.99. They sent me a very reasonable offer of $25. I took that with no problem. Um, it was super light, less than four ounces to send out. I do free shipping on eBay, like I said, unless it's priority. Um, so that sold fast and for a good price. I love $25. Love it. Is there anything else interesting? Oh, um, here's a bathing suit. Um, this bathing suit, uh, the brand is Catalina and it was new with tags and I had the bottom and the top. If you are all interested in learning a new little niche, I do have a video up on this channel about how to sell swimwear. I've sold almost all that swimwear that I put in that video, you guys. Around like spring, I start trying to get the swimwear up. There are some things to know. There are certain brands I look for. Um, just a real quick tip. You really want clean, clean, excellent condition if it's pre-owned in swim, especially. This happened to be new with tags. Um, it was the set, it was a good size. It was a 12, it was cobalt blue. Um, and this sold for my full asking price of $34.99. And Catalina, I don't think it's a super good brand. I see a lot of it for sale online. And I want to say, if you guys know where it sold, drop it in the comments. Hoping we can use the comments to like um, support each other, yes, but also help educate each other um, and interact with each other. I'm loving that part. Um, I think it might be like Walmart could be Kohl's, could be lots of different places, but again, it's not like a really high end line and it's still sold for that much. Okay, last one I will talk about for this video is um, uh, why don't I do the one? Then, yeah, I'm blubbering. Sorry about that. The next one on the list is Torrid. Torrid appeared also, I think I have a video up on my channel that's like which brands are the best selling ones for me on eBay. And I think Torrid made that list. Chico's, J. Jill, Torrid. I can't remember what the others are, but you're welcome to check out that video. Um, consistent sellers. Torrid is a plus size brand at the mall. It's, um, they make cute stuff and it sells super quick for me. Usually if I put something up within a week or so, it's gone. I've sold several pieces in June, Torrid. Um, this was a 2X ruffle hot pink neon top. It was like silky and pretty and 20 bucks, super light to ship out. So that was another good sale. So those are 10 of my sales um, on eBay in the month of June. Tell me if you like these videos, you guys. I'm trying to put up things that you wanna see. Um, I'm doing a lot of thrift hauls and I'm doing a lot of what sold. I have a lot of other ideas brewing, but I'd love to hear what you want more information on. And tell me a little bit about yourself in the comments. Um, my sales are up and I'm super excited. Yes, people are talking on Instagram. You can find me there on at Grateful Queen Bee on Instagram. There is um, in the description section how you can find me or my stores is in there. Um, I'm not experiencing summer slowdown right now but you know ask me next week i mean that's the way like ebay and poshmark have always been for me it ebbs and flows i am putting more time and energy into both my poshmark closet and my ebay store so i'm i'm um, feeding the machines and i'm not noticing a summer slowdown right now so um but who knows it could be coming and the other thing i'm working with is this you guys fall quarter fall quarter. Yeah, whatever that fall quarter is with back to school and everything tends to be my personal best. Um, around the holidays is good too. But for me, September, October, November are the best. 
eBay selling time. So I'm trying to get as much listed as I can. So take advantage of the fact that it, if it's slower for you, just get more listings up because it's going to turn around in a couple of months and you want to be ready. You want to have your back to school stuff in there, your sweaters, your jeans, your kids clothes. Um, you know, it's a change of season too. So men and women also, not just kids are going to be looking for like, oh, they need new sweaters. They need to um, transition from summer to fall. So I like to just put a bunch of stuff up and know it's gonna get busy. So I hope this video was helpful. Let me know um, in the comments what kind of videos you want. I'd love to say hi and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching guys.